sorry about that, that tune's been going in my head for some reason. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Let's Review. Let's talk about Magical Diary. For anyone not in the know, Magical Diary is a visual novel that's set in a magical school. And in spite of my own opening gag, it's not Harry Potter fan fiction. Now, despite what a lot of people seem to think, no piece of fiction is truly original. Every story, every writer takes elements from other stories, whether they're aware of it or not. Besides, Harry Potter isn't even the best fictional wizard with the first name of Harry. Wait a minute. If I'm not, then who is? That would be me, Harry Blackstone Copperfield Dresden, at your service. Him? Yeah, him. What's he got that I haven't got? Well, for a start, his gear's better than yours. Well, I have a wand. I have a wizard's staff, a blasting rod, and a gun. I get to wear wizard's robes. And I choose to wear a black leather coat. Pointy wizard hats. I only wear hats and cover art. Uh, guys. I have an owl that delivers my post. I have a Tibetan temple dog that makes demons piss themselves with fear. Guys. Hermione Granger. Karen Murphy. Ron Weasley. Bob the Skull. Neville Longbottom. <sighs> Michael Carpenter. Oi! Do you mind? I'm trying to review here. If you're going to insist on having this pissing contest, at least have the decency to settle it on your own time. Sorry. Sorry. Good. Now that that's been dealt with, let's start with the gameplay. Magical Diary is split into two main segments, the classes and the exams. Your interaction with the classes is limited to choosing which of those classes you take, choosing from the five schools of magic, some general studying, going to the gym, or sleeping. The five types of magic are colour-coded. Red is all about manipulating energy for combat-style magic. Blue is about change, and can also be used for teleportation. Green is life, and can be used to heal or manipulate natural materials like plants. Black magic affects the physical world, and is used to infuse objects with magical energy. White magic deals with spirits and other mystical beings. This system works pretty well for the most part, it's intuitive enough and it lets you build a character the way you want to. And each time you take a class, you gain anywhere between 0 and 3 points in that school of magic. The further you progress, the more spells you will learn. There are even a few spells that require knowledge of multiple schools. Once you've taken the classes, however, there are the exams. There are several exams throughout the course of your school year. Each one starts with you being teleported into the school dungeon. From here, you can control where you move within the dungeon, so if I, for example, turn, or I can move forward. You can also control this directly by holding down shift and using the arrow keys, which is quite useful. This is the earliest of the dungeons that actually gives you this option. So I will actually solve it here as a demonstration, but this is one of several solutions. So for example, our task, if I go back over here, is to get over this pit. Now we have this pile of rocks here, so if we were particularly adept with black magic, we might be able to infuse them with some mystical energy and use them to make a bridge. This particular character has been using red and blue magic. So here we see the bridge end. So if we open up our spell book, I have a teleportation spell, which I can cast on the bridge end. I can teleport it to here, place it to the north teleport to the bridge. I can now go back to where it is and now I can cross over the pit and I can exit the dungeon. That's the simplest of the dungeons. There are several that are more complicated, some that throw in creatures and other challenges and others that actually have you competing against other students. It's a pretty well designed system. It gives you lots of options. As I say, you could have used that pile of rocks or there's probably several other ways to solve it. I believe one of the possible ones is to use green magic to super strength to up your strength to allow you to jump straight across it, which is again a nice idea. So lots of options and they're all reasonably logical and sensible and you should be able to figure them out. Each school of magic allows for different ways to solve the puzzles presented to you in the dungeons. Do you favour brute force or do you prefer to be more fluid and adaptable? Nominally, you should be able to solve each dungeon with any school, although I would say that red and blue are probably the best choice for beginners, as they give you the most straightforward solutions to the problems. 
It's also worth noting that your spell book will fill up quickly with a whole bunch of spells that you will likely never ever use. But let's face it, we all learn a whole bunch of things in school that we never actually need in real life, so we'll just call that a nod to realism. As with all visual novels, the meat of course is not in the gameplay, but instead in the story. So let's move on to that. In Magical Diary, take on the role of a new student at Iris Magical Academy. Your character will always be female, but you decide on both their appearance and name. Since I used the name Janelin in my Let's Play, that's how I'll refer to her for the rest of this review. Janelin is a wild seed and thus has no knowledge of her magical power prior to entering the academy. You're a wizard, Harry. Still not a Harry Potter ripoff. Look, for a start, Janelin is 16, not 11. This allows for a focus on the relationships with her new roommates as well as a few potential love interests. And it's in this area that Magical Diary really excels. There are several potential love interests, and every one of them offers something completely unique. Magical Diary actually manages to balance one of the sweetest romances I've ever seen, with scenes like the following without either seeming out of place. Can't you just spank me and get it over with? You want me to spank you? Yes, please. I've been a very naughty girl, and I deserve a spanking. Really? Oh, you're even more of a fool than I had imagined. He seats himself at the table. In my day, Miss Cressida, the headmaster often took his slipper to boys who had been bad, and no one thought anything of it. Of course, the word slipper was a polite euphemism. He bends over and takes hold of the end of his boot laces. He's going to hit me with his boot? Uh, that's not quite what I had in mind. He looks up, catches sight of my expression, and smirks again. Perhaps I should remind you, Miss Cressida, that the object of detention is not to entertain you. Um, now complete your assignment. And you have no idea how many takes it took to recall that with a straight face. It should also be mentioned that one of the romance tracks deals with something that I've never before encountered in a video game. An abusive relationship. If you choose to enter a romance with Damien, he will manipulate you and he will hurt you, and you can choose to keep going back to him. Your friends will warn you, they will plead with you, and eventually they'll abandon you, but you can keep going back to him because you believe you love him. I'll be honest, I found this particular romance to be deeply uncomfortable, at least partially because I know that relationships like this do exist and that they should be addressed, but when it's done it has to be done with care and with respect, and it has been here. You are given ample opportunity to kick the son of a bitch to the curb, so will always be your choice. I feel the need to point out that this relationship is entirely optional. If you find the idea as uncomfortable as I do, I strongly recommend you stay the hell away from Damien. With all that said, I do actually really like the story. I like the characters. It's an extremely well-written visual novel, and... It's often very funny and downright sweet. The art style is a little bit hit and miss to my tastes. Ellen and Professor Potsdam in particular are very nicely designed and drawn in ways that really match their characters. Others, particularly the male characters like Damien, are drawn in a way that just bugs me for some reason and I can't really explain. There's also no real effects for the spells beyond a few swirls of colour. Which is a pity, but it's an understandable one. Overall, the art style works, and I don't have any real complaints about it. Once again, there's no voice acting in this visual novel, so there's nothing really to say there. Uh, the music is fine. Again, it's nothing too memorable, but it does work okay. Uh, the sound effects are also rather limited. I only really noticed sort of one per school of magic. But again, limited budget and so on and so forth. So... I'm willing to cut it some slack on that, so no real problems in the audio department, but also nothing really worth shouting the praises for. So, do I like Magical Diary? Yes, I do. Should you buy it? Yes, actually, I think you should. It won't be everyone's cup of tea, of course, but if you enjoy this kind of thing, then Magical Diary is a particularly fine example of the genre. Just be aware it contains some discussions of sexual matters as well as some content that some might find uncomfortable. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a wizard fight to arbitrate. I'll see you later. Look, how about you two just settle this with a duel? Okay. Fine by me. Okay then, on the count of three then. One, two, three. Expelling! I'm not cleaning that up. <laughs>